Hi, I'm Jason from All Things Containers. Uh, today we're going to go through all the parts required for shipping container doors. Uh, for instance, uh, this is a door rod. Uh, that's a left hand locking door rod. This is a right hand locking door rod. If what, what way the handle points is uh, whether it indicates whether it's right or left. So that's pointing left when it's locked. That's pointing right when it's locked. This is a right locking rod. And we'll start today from the top and work our way down. All these pieces on a door uh, come in a little part. So starting at the top, we have a keeper and a cam. They lock into each other. Next thing you come to is a locking bar bracket, which has a plastic split, split bush that uh, goes inside that. So that wraps around the door rod that bracket goes over it so that's that one there including nuts and bolts uh, that's the rod itself that's called a locking bar guide which again bracket nuts and bolts that goes around it the bracket guide goes over it that allows the door rod to swivel uh, and this not to rust against it the uh, plastic split bush creates a barrier if you like between uh, between the bracket itself and the rod. Then we go down to the handle itself. Handle, hub, and uh, locking bar pin. Uh, this here is the locking bar bracket. Uh, sorry, this here is a door handle catch and door handle retainer. So this one here is indicated like that. There's the hub, handle, and pin. There can be, there's another type of handle as well called a press door handle which is the same again just just a different um, you end up with a different retainer and you end up with a different handle but again the it's basically the same with hub and pin. Now the, the retainer itself that one there is that that's the retainer that's the catch. Now to allow that to swivel is a bush as well. Excuse me. So that goes there, that goes on there. You put your nut and bolt through it and that's, that allows your catch to swivel. Um, then we go down to, there's another locking bar bracket which we showed earlier, which is that and that with the split bush inside. And again, we go down to a different uh, locking bar cam and keeper and they lock into each other uh, now from there we're going up to the hinge blade itself that attaches the door to the rear corner post now that's the hinge blade itself it's attached to the rear corner post by a, a hinge pin and lugs as you can see there, the lugs there, they sit in there, they weld in there. The lug goes above and below, welds into the corner post. The pin goes through, you put a tack on that. All right, you put a tack on the top of that and that holds your door in. Uh, that's about it currently. Thank you for your time.